Got it. In my past, I seemed to enjoy life better when I did what I wanted to do, regardless of my subject. Vincent van Gogh once said, If you hear a voice within you say that you can't paint, by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. The way I interpreted this was that the only way to conquer your evil conscience is to do the exact opposite and no longer really be burdened. Now I want to share, I want to preview a few of my experiences in life that I've overcome with my evil conscience and a few of my friends' experiences that have impacted my life. So, first I'll share personal experiences and explain how I overcame this evil voice inside me. I chose to surpass the devil within me by ignoring his absurdities and following my desires. Cross country was a new sport to me my freshman year of high school. I was running by myself and it wasn't until my friends caught up with me and followed me and convinced me to join the cross country team. Well, the first time I ran to the cross country team, I ran five miles and I was sure I wanted to quit because I was lagging behind and it just wasn't for me. My evil conscience was telling me that I wasn't cut out for it and that this just wasn't my sport. So I told myself that I wasn't a quitter and that I practiced with the team already once so I was going to finish it out. Because I finished it out, I found much more joy in my life and I found a family that has made so many, that I've made so many memories with. Now on to Purdue. Purdue was one of many colleges that I applied to. They were the only college to decline me from the engineering program. Well, I decided and realized that engineering wasn't what I wanted to do anyway. Um, that was after I reapplied to Purdue. Uh, before that though, I thought that IUPUI was the place for me because it was sentimental in a way that my grandfather was sick and he, after he left IUPUI, the Indiana hospital, he passed away. So I thought it was my calling, him telling me to go there. Well, then I found that I wouldn't be happy at IUPUI because I don't know about it. Um, so I decided to reapply for Purdue and I got accepted and I realized that he, my guardian angel, was telling me all along that I need to follow my dreams and my passion and I'll be happy no matter what. So I overcame that evil conscience telling me that, you know, go to IUPUI, you'll have fun, but really I knew I wouldn't until I went to Purdue. Now I'd like to um, now I'd like to share some experiences that my friends have challenged themselves with and tell you how they've impacted my life. My cousin Angelica, she was, how do I put it, she was never very, um, she faced getting her life together um, when she finally realized that she had nothing, nowhere to go. Um, she didn't even apply for colleges except for one, but she didn't want to go to college. Um, it wasn't until she applied for the Navy and they told her she had to lose weight in order to be accepted. Um, after five months of her going there and tell, having them tell her that she needed to lose weight, she finally realized that she needed to get her life together and she overcame it by changing her life in one day. She decided to take on a diet. She decided to start working out. Her and I shared this experience of sports and we didn't even work out because we liked it. We did it because it came along with the sports. Um, and whenever you know she surpassed that challenge, I've seen her happier than ever. And she is now exploring the world from San Diego to Hong Kong. Um, and now I'll talk about my friend who will remain anonymous. She had a very dark past and she, um, her evil conscience told her to take her life five times, but she decided to overcome that by finding something else in life 
Um, she found and discovered painting, and from there she has painted lives, beauties, and never looked back. Um, so she's very, she has inspired me to live life because um, life can be much worse than mine. Um, now I'd like to end my, my presentation by refreshing your mind with Van Gogh's quotation. If you hear a voice when then you say you cannot paint, by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. So in other words, if you conquer the demon within you, you will no longer be failed with him, faced with him. Take it from your experiences and other challenges. Life is better enjoyed when you rid yourself of your evil conscience and begin to live your life like there's no tomorrow.